here, which is going to be with the figs and the apples. And if we need some sweetness, we're going to add our sweetener in here. We're now in the home stretch. Yeah, we are. Here is our blender. The figs are in here, the fig soak water, three apples, and I put two teaspoons of salt. I used a um, Bolivian rose salt. Yes, and uh, then I also have some palm sugar in there. I put a half cup in um, just because I thought we need to bring up the sweet. Now you could use something like um, birch bark xylitol. Well, it is not from GMO corn cobs. We do not want that. GMO bad, bad, GMO. Okay, and we flip this on. Helmet, everything, Googles. Alrighty then, here's our figgy puree. I'm gonna taste it. I know it's delicious. Wow. Don't forget to add a little bit of salt here. Granola, that brings all the flavors, harmonizes them. Now there's one last ingredient, which is a cup of ground chia. Granola cam. Here we are in the bowl right now. We're gonna mix it up, mix a lot. So here we go. Yummy, yummy. Mix and mix and mix. And we want a nice consistency where we get clumps. I'm, I'm a fan of the clumpy, clumpy granola. Raisin time, raisin time. We're adding raisins. Put three cups in here, this is the third one. I like to uh, kind of roll the raisin in my hand, break them up. And this is the good con consistency. I like this. This is nice, chunky. Look how it sticks to the spoon. This gives you the option of having granola bar or breaking it up and putting it in a bowl of milk. Right. I like options. I don't know about you, but that's just me. Flavor wise, let's get a little tasty taste. Now we will move from here over to the dehydration area. Granola on Teflex sheets. Yes, you want to do. I prefer to do this on the Teflex sheets as opposed to the screens. Here's what it looks like. Because it's such a um, chunky and kind of wet granola, if you were to do this on the screens, they would really get sticky and Guided up and you have to clean them. So, Teflex works for me. And you just kind of mush it down like so. You want to get it low enough so the other tray is clear. Now that I got all the granola on the tray, I'll go back, put it in the dehydrator. Um, start out like at 125 for the first hour or two. Um, so, this will go in the dehydrator. Be ready. It's about six to ten hours. Flip it off the uh, Teflex sheet if you want the procedure to go quicker. But uh, it's up to you. And there you have it. Big apple granola. From the live food experience. From Water Belief, Michigan at Camp Ronora. Check out online. We love you. Bye.